Wagwan, how you there? What's good? And you know who this is, baby. The number one podcast in America dedicated to all you kings and queens of color, homies and homets, shatters, woo gals, G boys, and charges. The one and only Jerk Jalob and Collard Greens Podcast. Wagwan, how you doing? What's good? You know what it is. It's your boy G Ransom, the humble extrovert. And on today, we have the JJC podcast crew, followed by Mr. Oye D Ron, D Black. What up? No rubber waistline this time? <laughs> no rubber waistline. I'm saving it. Gotta hold on to it. <laughs> it's coming up. That's the category. It's coming up. <laughs> we, got a, we got a special episode today. But um, Dre, say what's good. You, I'm currently undefeated in all competitions. <laughs> Oh, oh wow! Oh, true. Okay. Oh, he is. A, yeah, there's an unreleased episode where we nominate. Well, he's pretty much earned the right of culture king, and we're about to see why. <laughs> Francis, the franchise. What's goody? And this you <laughs> glad that was for you. you Dre. Wow. <laughs> then we starting off early. I thought, I thought she said Chucky you wasn't going to be cursing room. as much anymore. I <laughs> see that went out the window. That's Sorry. one. Sorry, Auntie. Thing. Sorry, Auntie Chunky, whoever's listening. Uh, sorry. <laughs> he can't hold it. And if you don't already know, this show is full of characters, but we are the multi ethnic podcast. That leaves nothing off the table. And also, we would love it if you follow us at JJC Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter so you stay up to date on the latest episodes and what we generally do and some of our antics here on the side of the show. And if this is your first time listening to the show, we know that we do our our wake up segment where we feature a black business and just some general banter amongst the group just to get everything warmed up. And our black business shout out for today will be Stanhope Africa, uh, which is a, I, I'll say this, I have actually purchased from her. She's a seamstress based out of New Jersey and she can pretty much seam anything in African prints. Um, and she is blessed and gifted. She actually did a piece for my niece and my sister as a gift that I sent them as a birthday present. And it was on point. I'll give it to you. Nigerians, you Africans on them seaming them fabrics and woven them joints. Y'all are on point. <laughs> you know, the craziest part about that is that we actually get a lot of our like fabrics from like Dubai or India or something or like, like that. Like Holland even. Yeah, too. that's oh, true. Too. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, oh, since we mentioned Holland and I think I'm going to commission a special piece for Francis. It's gonna be a gnome in in. in gnome. <laughs> it's gonna be a blue gnome, but you gonna have the fresh, the Native fresh wear. kente fit, <laughs> the, the, the top of the gnome hat, and then the full wow. fit, head to toe. Oh, to yeah. oh, god, blue gnome! Uh, <laughs> no. You have to put that on the gram. Uh, no. You know what you're oh, getting here. Yeah. So that's a throwback to a previous episode. So you see, uh, well, that you was go so, back that and is- listen. Technically, that's all glam, but I'll I'll take. No, it's you now. It's, it's the blue gnome, gnome, right? Gnome. Uh, you the gnome man now. It's the blue gnome. Oh, you know what goes on in his house, so definitely <laughs> shout out. Here we go again. No, Glenn, sh- I swear to God, I'm gonna fight through this this computer, man. And he's so, gonna hand uh, you his blue gnome. <laughs> I, I, I'm not interested, Francis. I'm not. You, interested. you can take it back. You can, <laughs> the gnome is no. Yo, you can take that back, bro. Take the championship back. So definitely <laughs> shout out to you, Connie. She's definitely a listener of the podcast as well. So definitely big love to you. Um, check her out at Stan Hope Africa. That's S-T-A-N-H-O-P-E-A-F-R-I-C-A, stanhopeafrica.com. And on Instagram and Facebook at Stan Hope Africa. Reach out to her. Love to get a nice little Kente fit. Uh, she's definitely dope on the materials. So fellas, I know we got into some little banter already, but yo, have you guys seen that Bad Trip movie yet? Mm-mm. Oh no! You know, so crazy. Oh, I was looking at God. it, and what I was movie? like, "Wait, is it? Bad it's trip. like oh, so I forgot the name of the the guy who's always doing those. He does weird stuff. He's all like the, the time. weird black comedy guy. I forgot like, what his name is, man. It's he, like Little Rel something. Howry, Little Rel Howry. Okay, okay, yeah. Give us yeah. a little. Give us a little. Like what was uh, without any so, spoilers. Give us the the rundown. I will, because you know I'm very critical with movies and food and everything. <laughs> But I thoroughly enjoyed this. I saw it with a Netflix number one. So basically, you guys have seen the Jackass movies before, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's basically a black version of Jackass. It's like a, a woven script into like in the film is the actual script, but they throw pranks on real people in between. So uh. they're like pranking people along the way. The whole gist of it is that you got this hopeless romantic guy 
He's trying to restore this relationship with a high school crush that you know he hasn't seen for years. But so on some inkling, he's like, I have to get this woman, right? Mm -hmm. So he goes on this journey with Little Rel and um, Eric Eric Dandre, a John. Andre. Uh, Andre, my bad. Andre, Eric yeah. Andre, sorry. Eric Andre. Yeah. Oh, oh, the, oh, oh, Eric wait. Andre. Yeah. Was that, that the clip where guy. Tiffany Haddish was like holding him over a building? Yes. Okay, yes. okay. I saw I saw the preview or whatever of that. But okay. So, that, can't that forget the sis. Tiffany Haddish, she did her thing. Like um, some of her movies, I'm just like, uh, but on this one, yo, she she played her part right. And it's funny because she was in plain clothes. Like she dressed up like a her character was like some ex-con of she was the sister of Little Rel. Okay. And basically, they, they took her car to go on this road trip to find the girl, and they're just throwing pranks on people. I'm like, yo, they th they they were like in um Florida, South Carolina, New York, and like I mean, the first two states for the most part, I know you can have weapons, right? So I'm like, yo, yeah. they ain't scared. They out here throwing pranks on people, and like they ain't afraid they're getting shot. <laughs> but yo, crazy film, it was off the chain. Y'all got that's a crazy concept because they had like a script. But then they did some pranks at the same time, like pranks. involving real people, like yes. so, like Jackass meets, you know, <laughs> I don't know, I, I, Notebook. I, I, <laughs> yeah. I thought you was going somewhere yeah. with it. <laughs> kind of like uh, the uh, Sasha Baron Cohen, like he, he yes, normally does yes, that type yes. of thing, right? Yeah. Where he, exactly. He has like his own story, but then he's weaving in like you know real people or whatever. Yeah. Um, Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to check. Yeah, it's that. a seventy percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Netflix. Is that good? I don't know if that's like. Oh, good. Rotten Tomatoes. I don't know what they're. It's a. It's a satire. It's like slapstick. It's, it is yeah. stupid funny. I'm gonna give you that. You're gonna okay. see like it's stupid funny. It's not like cerebral or anything. It's just you just want to sit down, have a good time, laugh. That's the movie right there. Okay. That's I did kind of uh, That is the cue. Ooh. That's the movie of the night then. Facts. So we got a pretty lengthy one in front of us. We're going to go right into it. And so what makes today's episode so special is because we <laughs> I've titled it the Dueling Diaspora episode. So basically in this episode, the panel members, including myself, will go head to head in this three-way cultural melee to determine once and for all who does it best. So panel members will be asked to compare and measure the cultural contributions of their respective nations towards the Black, Amer Black American diaspora. The panel will be challenged on a variety of categories ranging from, but not limited to, music, food, sports, and entertainment. And I'm sure it's going to be pretty ethnocentric, but we'll weigh, you know, who's accurate or not on the popular vote or consensus amongst the group and the overall uniqueness of the contribution, historical achievements, and our accuracy. And um, we hope at the same time, it will be pretty funny, but you gain some insight on all the contributions of each nation and our cultures and how we make this a whole American melting pot. So let's go ahead and get into it then. On the first category of who does it best, we're going to be talking about food. And I think this is probably one of the most impactful categories, of course, because your food makes your culture, right? It's kind of like, yeah. Yo, your food is trash. Nah, we ain't, we ain't coming there. I come to your house. <laughs> <laughs> you about to start a fight? <laughs> uh, no, I'm about to claim some other culture, some other nation. But let's get into it. Best side dish amongst um, Jamaicans, Ooh. Nigerians, and Americans. Who has the best side dish? Bruh, first of all, as Nigerians, we got so many side dishes, okay? It's not just <laughs> one side dish. <laughs> but he said best side yeah. dish. Yeah, well, because but then if you got heard. multiple side dishes that are the best, Chuck, you can I, take an L right there. <laughs> you, you already you, lost. You already lost. Francis, so what, no, one, no one's talking to you, Francis. So stay in your corner. I'm not Jerry. Oh, speak oh, to me oh. and <laughs> Stay uh, in your what's, box. What's your, what's your side dish? Which so, one that you guys dish. gonna put up? I guess uh, you me, and Francis gotta uh, fight it out. Man, that's hard. That's so hard. I want to say uh, dodo, which is. Woo! But that's oh, but on. that's the same thing. That's plantain for um. Plantain. You know, nah, we got plenty of side dishes. Latin. Come on, let's go. I can't eat that one. Plantain is fire, bro. What about, have to say, what, about, what about meat pie or? Oh my gosh, that's another. I'll, I'll say FR. I like. I really like some really good, well-made FR, which is like um, it's like spinach, I guess. If, if if it's like spinach but fried up, and then you could put like dried shrimp in it. You could put like um, ham in it. Everybody kind of does it a little bit different. Turkey in it. It's it's healthy. Air quote healthy. <laughs> is that a side though, or is that just like an accompany accompaniment in an? Isn't that what a side is? Something that you eat with something else? 
Yeah, well, but you gotta pick one. You can't. You yeah, can't just be yeah. giving us the whole menu. You gotta pick one. Yeah, yeah I'm one sorry. Shirts. I'm stomach growling. <laughs> Francis, what do you got? Because oh, me and Chucky nice. ready to go. We ready so to let it load it. Yo, oh, they, they represent it. Nigeria, right? You got yeah. two I'll, Nigerians, one. I, I, I cause cause I'm a, you know what? I'm gonna take Dodo. You can take another one. I'm yeah, I was it. gonna say Dodo is, is. I mean, I was just in Puerto Rico, and Dodo is even is huge in Puerto Rico. That's it's on pretty much on every dish that mm -hmm. they have out there. So I would probably say dodo or or I'll say meat pie, which is somewhat That's a side to, dish? Pick one. It's pick a, one. Yeah, yeah, I'll go with dodo. I'll go with dodo. Oh, uh, because so, you're okay. going to take dodo? Fine, I'm going to switch mine up. I'm going to switch mine up. No, 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 that's it. It's dodo. We're on the same team. We're on the same team. You can't take me both No, that's it. You guys are representing Nigeria. Well, we are representing Nigeria. Exactly. Dodo. We are representing Nigeria. Damn. I was my cue. One dish per <laughs> diaspora. Oh yeah, my exactly. god, damn, bro. <laughs> Fine. Children. So y'all saying plantain, basically fried plantain. No, 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 that's it. That's it. He's like basically fried plantain. Man, Glenn, what you got? Patties or what? Green plantain. Well, patty. It's like the cheeseburger of Jamaica, but elevated so much more because it is so Thanksgiving. So I would say our side bread. dish. I rule. Cocoa <laughs> bread. I would say yard Ooh, food. Cocoa bread. Mm. If you've never had yard food before, yard food basically is like uh, boiled yam, sweet potato, dumpling. It's just like the whole gamut. That's a sustenance right there. We eat for sustenance, right? You want to that's eat a that side dish? One that's, a, that's multiple things. No, that's, yeah, that's, it's no, that's the main thing. No, no, yeah. that's, that's the center <laughs> of the dish. No, no. Like, what is wrong with you people? Look out. Yo, I, this is an appetizer, okay. Confident. okay. I feel confident. Okay. So. All right, go ahead, Jerry. Go ahead. Get him. Get him. Baked mac and cheese. Oh. Damn. Oh. That shit is oh. on its own. Baked oh. mac and oh. cheese. Oh. You ever had mac and cheese in next time? A proper mm. side dish. I don't got to explain nothing. Mm. Everybody has had it. And oh man, just Damn, baked mac and cheese. Oh, some people are lactose, I can't bro. lie. Got that. that sounds like a personal <laughs> problem. A lot of people can't eat it, bro. Stop. I know people who are lactose oh, intolerant who will still goes, eat it. It's go worth it. With that. It is worth it. That's our side. Well, I would say. Well, we got big mac and cheese too, but uh, I wouldn't say it's like it's oh, it's jerk not <laughs> jerk mac and cheese. Mm. Well, that's what jerk mac and pasta. Get that out of here. Pasta pasta is not a Jamaican dish. But it's fire. Pasta pasta is jerk Alfredo. <laughs> jerk <fire>. Alfredo. <laughs> Yo, cuz we also we also have. No, you're done. You're done. No more time. Yeah, oh, Suya. No. Okay, no, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. No. We having a conversation, bro. Once again, get back in your box, Francis. What's yours, Chucky? Yo. What's yours, Chucky? Yo. Yo. I'm about to we, fire it's, it's an agreement. We <laughs> just said mac and cheese. We Where were you? We oh, uh, message. We messaged privately. We on the same cord. No, you didn't. I gotta say, let's vote it down. I would say if I had to eat one side dish, I'll probably choose the mac and cheese. I ain't gonna lie. What? Like, yeah, plantain I, over do over do do. <laughs> I, I mean, if it came no, no, down to one thing, Selassie, with your sensitive stomach, you really about to pick the mac and cheese? Yep. Yeah, exactly. bam, 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 bam. I, I risk all that constipation and lactose intolerance on that mac. Wow. Well, I'm not. I'm not really a big mac and cheese guy. Hey. So I, I mean, for me, I'm I'm not having it. So. You don't have to have it. Don't like Glenn has it. Cheese. Dre has it. I have it. Look, so get back in your box, Francis. And, and, <laughs> and you explained it to me. So you know, I, you know, you explained to me that that dodo is basically. Uh, if you're basically telling me it's like plantains, right, plantain. then you know, mofongo. You know, me, the Puerto Rican side of me. You know, I, I gotta have me some. So to be fair, I have not had any Nigerian foods, and I blame exactly. you for that. Exactly. So you guys got to make up. sure that that happens for me. Oh, all I gotta say, like I said, is a TikTok challenge going out now where you know americans are trying african food especially nigerian food so you need to step but in i've it. not seen the step good it, ones it up, i've not seen the good ones of those i've seen them uh, being really disrespectful about no i, I would stuff nigerian like that food is amazing I've been I, every time i've been in a deep black's house i've have eaten very very well so let's get into the next <laughs> one there because we still still on food that's just one thing i'm like that's okay i'll give the mac and cheese to you. okay can, can, no i do not i got a question agree. right real quick <laughs> for for, for Glenn. so when someone picks a side dish or a piece of food that's it they can't go back and forth about it whatever they, they choose it's a joint decision it's a conversation it's a dialogue don't say joint decision though yeah like, I you guys are representing nigeria yeah because i do i do agree with that 
We have to come as one. Next. Next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I mean, the same rule applies to them too. Okay, we, fine. Yeah. What? Yeah. We, cho- we chose we, mac and cheese yeah. and left it. Like, yeah, we got the next it. one too. We got the next one ready too. <laughs> oh, all right, let's go, right? All right, let's, let's go. switch up the order. All let's right, go. next. Switch up, yeah, do switch up the order. So, all right, <laughs> best drinks. Who has the best drinks? Let's start off with the Americas first. The Americans. Soda. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I, 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 I've gotten the assist from Chunky. I'm going to let him say it, but let's go. <clears throat> the best drink is sweet tea. Ooh, wow. oh, diabetes. Mm. Oh, man. Let me mm. take it. Take you it already salivate oh, before you drink it. As soon as you hear it, you're like, ugh. <laughs> can't wait to get this. Diabetes. Let's go. Right. I'm going to step into my little council real quick. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> the Wasn't the drink in Nigeria? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, we already got we already got mine. Nigeria already got Fanta. mine. Yep, got that I, agree. I, agree. I agree. Exactly. With that. I agree with that because yep, that's so that's easy. A, yeah, it's a, that's an easy one. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You gotta it? tell us. Malt. Malt. Yeah. Either is Vita malt, Goya malt. This is oh Malta. Malta. That, yeah. that, that comes from malt. Puerto Rico. Oh. Costa Rica. That's let him have it. Nigeria. Let him have it. No, well, no, yeah, let him have it. That, 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 that is Nigeria. Known for that, bro. But Nigeria, every, Nigeria is a yeah, Nigeria but every Nigerian owns. Yeah, not, not Zozo. Not every that. <laughs> no, don't give him anything. Bozo, Bozo. Glenn, <laughs> you're not you're not Nigeria. Nope. Why are you trying to say Nigeria right. is what true. they want? It's, it's sugar cane. Is 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 natural. It's burnt it's sugar cane. It's fire. It's not alcoholic. You know, not alcoholic. You can have it with your you know at a sweet tea is not alcoholic. What are you talking about? Well, I'm Nobody just talking. Here. Nobody's talking about three. Teams, I'm talking. Right? Uh, listen, I'm having a conversation with Francis. Stay in your box now. Man, it's we Nigerians. We Nigerians. All right. All right Glenn, so what about I you? would say for Jamaica, it has to be rum punch. There's Ooh, never a time oh, when you're Boy. going well, ginger beer too. Mm. But rum punch is our staple drink. Like you go to Jamaica, you're gonna get yourself a rum punch. That's without a doubt. And even though not all rum punches are created equal. <laughs> There's something just unique and idiosyncratic about rum punch. You will not get a rum punch like you get in Jamaica. It'll, everyone will tell you, "Yeah, I got this from my Jamaican people or my Jamaican friend." Hands yeah, down. I've not even been to Jamaica, That's- but if I had to, just for my voting, I I, I sadly have to pick a uh, rum punch, man. Boom. Okay. I I messed with the only one that has alcohol in it, but, of course, right? Yeah. The only but drink rum punch, man. dropped with alcohol in it. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Jamaica, take your L. Jamaica was Jamaica. I'm not gonna lie. When I went to Jamaica, I fell in love with Jamaican food and a lot of things that I learned. So so yeah, uh, you guys. It's kind of a disadvantage sometimes because you guys are mm. the spot to go to. I feel like I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, I like a good ginger beer. I don't know nothing about the rum punch, but mm. yeah, not from Jamaica too. You don't drink, so that's a some ginger beer and some tequila. Get yeah, your ginger beer is fire. Mm. Mm. I mean, you can have a uh, you can have a a non alcoholic version of rum punch. You can. It's not the same though. But it's yeah. not a rum punch. It's just a punch. <laughs> <laughs> like you want some some of the punch? flavors. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I think, but I think Malt kind of got this though because it's such a symbolic of. Who part of the Nigerian culture? Mm-hmm. You know, like you can't. But I don't know. But like, come from Nigeria. Yeah, I know. That's. Hey, that's you. Yeah, lucky, lucky, lucky. I don't know where it came from, but I know it's like every Nigerian home has it. Well, and beat it's all, part. It's part. It's so. part of. It's part of our culture. Mm. So. Next. <laughs> 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 They have no love to sweet tea. No love <laughs> at all. That's all right. Here it is, right. right? You guys still don't have one yet. <laughs> you're sitting at zero. Yo, Chunky. oh man, I'm, Yo, we I'm, got you. I'm scared. I'm scared that I scared the Nigerians in Los Angeles are gonna ride on me if they hear this. So, uh, <laughs> the words of Chunky, the words Yo. of Chunky don't represent uh DeAndre. If you see mm-hmm. me in the streets of LA, I'm good. I'll stand I'm on my own too. I have uh, Nigerian. We got friends. bitter wine, we got all these other things. Yo, but you didn't name it, say- did you? They didn't even say jalof. Like I'm just shocked. Yo, that's jalof, jalof is not a, that's side, not a side, side dish, though. You what said, jalof you is a main side? dish? Yeah. All right. All right. It, 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 could be it could be both. It could be right, both. Technically, it could be both. Next. All right. My ignorance. Next. next. Best national dish overall. Like the dish that <laughs> represents your nation. Jalof, jalof fried jalof. rice. This is jalof. jalof. Rice. Okay. Uh-huh. Wait, so wait, the dish, I guess, encompass like 
this and this or is it just like a one it item could be thing? the main side okay. so like main course like you're having yeah. the the protein the vegetable the starch the carbs all that whatever it is yep whatever that oh. whole dish okay. is yep mm. yeah so for us it's jollof rice That's with it. the sauteed meats <laughs> the sauteed <laughs> meats yep with with some F four on the side, eh? Yeah, that's yeah. How I like mine. F four or some meat, put some, meat put pie. Little, I like stew. I like a little bit of stool on my jello. You know what I mean? Mm. Wait, what? Says stool as in doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> See, and this is yeah. how Chucky show, showing, showing his lack of culture. Showing his lack of culture. That's what it sounded like. Wow, I, I heard that too. Sounded like some. I feel, like I'm offended by that comment. Uncultured. I was just asking. I am offended by that comment. S two. E W stew stew yes, yes. I, do you do you understand my for, oh, oh I'm sorry I'm sorry for your ears gravy does that work for you ooh, ooh. Damn. Gravy, Damn. playing with gravy nice. now all right Americans what's your take oh man we got we got to go with fried chicken collard mm. greens candy mm. yams come mm. on man with the marshmallows on the top oh, boy. Mm. oh boy no he the said dish oh dish is a collection dish. of things. Yes, yeah. with you the marshmallows on top of it. And you also said the the salted meats and all that. We good, man. All right, whatever. Uh, mm. Wow, I see. I see. Whatever. Y'all just make. I up see. They not. They don't go. align. They don't align. Yeah. Wait, hold up, hold up. Wait, what no. do you mean we don't? Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Sweet potatoes with. Do you put marshmallows on the top or no, do you candy not? yams? Candy okay. yams, oh, different. Okay, okay. candy potato, yams. Potato fluff. Do you put the marshmallows mm. on it or not? Oh, that's a preference thing. We, we good. No, we good. We nah. One. I see a divide right here. <laughs> it's not. It's no, not. It's not. It's not, it, it's it's not, it's not. That's I still fine. Yeah, that's still, still fine. fine because I've had it both ways. If I decide to put the marshmallows on it, that's on me. Sometimes I do this it. Guy, this guy just trying to find division. He know. He, he, he know. He, he know. He loves all. I think three that's of those another loss together. for them. Let's, what does so. Glenn have? Well, well I mean, no, let's no. be real. We live. We do live in America, so let's be real. Let me see. You don't know. I have to say, I on selfish and yard food. <laughs> Bro, you're not gonna go to Jamaica and not get you see, you're staying on a resort, you staying at auntie house, grandma house, whatever. You're gonna run into some ackee and sawfish. That's breakfast, lunch, and or dinner. I like the sawfish, I don't like the ackee. I'm just straight up. Wow, disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay though. Because there's all the people that love ackee. Yeah, so, <laughs> so who wins this one? I right, give it to us, bro. I, I, I would say it's it. a tie. We're not going to give I, you. No, it don't. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I think we get. I think we get this. I think nah, we got. This. We got no, that, no, you don't. Jalove, Jalove, you don't. Jalove, no, no. Okay, man, Chucky's like sitting in your lane, bro. I've never <laughs> even had it before. I, I'm always in my lane. You decide okay. to weave over in the mine. I haven't had Jalove. Mine is dry. <laughs> exactly. If you haven't had it, sit in the corner, bro. <laughs> Who I'm best friends with this man. Like, exactly. Oh, 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 now we're gonna use the argument because I, 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 have, oh, yeah. I, have, I have a black friend. I have a black friend. I have a Nigerian best friend. I have a Nigerian Yo. friend. Thank you. Your Nigerian friend hasn't hooked you up with the jollof. You ain't friends. <laughs> and Francis, I'm still waiting for the recipe, friend. So, so, you, you, ain't gonna, you, ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get it. Bina, it's a tie. Is it, is, it, is it zero oh, across it. the board or one apiece? Well, we have one more category, which is best overall foods, period. Like, if we had to choose one cuisine to eat for the rest of our lives, which would it be? Mm. Ooh. Wow. I'm sorry, I'll have to take African food. We have way too much. We have way too many options. I mean, oh, yeah, it, we just we just we have, have one option. We, have we just food, have food. chicken. That's no, but but and I feel like <laughs> right. And we, no, no, but hold on, hold on. <laughs> like, like seriously, but and I think that I'll, and maybe this is speaking to me. I'm a I'm more of a carnivore than a herbivore. And Nigerians eat a lot of different types oh, of meat. Sorry, we're like uh, black people, oh. like Af African Americans, are just vegetarians. You've never had barbecue <laughs> yeah. before, I guess. Like, I guess you they don't have barbecue. Y'all, what, what you mean? What? I mean, no, like, what? yeah, you got barbecue, but we have like y'all don't yeah. eat the type of meat that we see. Eat. This, uh, I apologize. You know I mean? I've never no taken you back to a good like y'all don't eat none of that, man. I, I apologize. Tough chicken. Well, Chucky is fire. <laughs> Chucky oh is absolutely out of here. I love. There is no other nation i know that has a dish that actually wants your chicken to be hard as a rock like that's tough chicken Ooh. or pepper soup with the chicken in it <laughs> man. man my nah. cousin is bringing out the bag nah, they, they can't they can't handle it they can't handle it they can't handle it of course you're going to promote your own culture's dish right exactly. and if you the didn't, <laughs> there's something wrong with you and so you'd be like uh, barbecue chicken <laughs> no not barbecue chicken barbecue period so get them ribs get them 
ribs. Get him. All the all. He said ribs beans. twice. Get him. <laughs> that ran out. Ribs. Cause, cause Look, I, was ribs? About, I was about to beef win, ribs. But... Chicken ribs. 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 <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Beef ribs. Pork ribs. I don't know. I'd have to go with Jamaican because we have oxtail, beef patty. Well, I'm we not have gonna lie. I love oxtail. Fried fish. And nobody does an oxtail oh, cause, like because black people can't fry fish either. Oh, right? we don't have fish fries. Well, we not, we don't, don't have, have fish fries. You never heard, yeah, I've never heard of a black oh, okay. person fish fry before. Nope, Yo, not a thing. Never I've never seen a fryer snapper. for it. I've never seen anything in life about a fish fry. Nah, the way y'all fry fish, y'all take some whiting or some tilapia, y'all put some cornmeal on it, and y'all fry it. Nah, bro. okay, what? okay. So I'm gonna what? say something because because <laughs> I'm sorry. I am going with Jamaican food for it. Wow. I am. Overall, I'm, I'm, loyalty, I'm, huh? I'm eating Jamaican food, bro. I love, uh, yo, bro. I've made oxtail by myself from scratch. Mm. Like, is, at least a few is, times. What's going to have to happen after this episode? Wait, wait, when wait, we wait, get wait, together, wait, wait. We're, we, we're going to have to have a cultural cookout. Oxtail is Jamaican only? Black people what don't bang? make oxtail? Apparently not. Bro, so, this, no, but here's this, like, no, this, no, no, no. Like, not, this, not the way they do, bro. No, no. This, this, this is the part that I feel like is a little Levels. bit unfair about the black American part is that <laughs> if y'all see a little bit of food somewhere else and y'all think that is good, you incorporate it into your own dish. And now it's black yeah, American wait, as well. Okay. And that don't count. That's, that's American. Don't count. That's a group of people who are, who are, who are promoting a Goya drink. <laughs> Mm. A Goya drink. Dre, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, you can't. You can't. You can't. You, can't. Oh, hey, you know what? No. You know what? It's not Yo, fair. It's, it's, part, it's part of our culture. There you have it. Okay. We love, they, we love our malt. Okay? If there was no Nigerian, then there'll be no more Malta. How about that? <laughs> Back in your box, Francis. We, we make that shit popular, man. Yo, there's, they, there's my curse word. They even claimed Fanta. There's a such thing as a Nigerian. Yeah, there's a it's different. It's different. It's different. Glenn, I want to know. It tastes like uh, actual fruit. Who who gets the <laughs> overall win here? I would say in this case, America got the best side dish. I agree. Mac and cheese. I'm sorry. Like I could eat that forever with anything. I even stuffed it in my burgers. <laughs> I just <laughs> <laughs> that burger spot we went to in um was it? Oh, uh, is it uh Cranford? I think. Oh my god. Or yeah, that shit was. Fire! I had yeah. the waffle, Belgian waffle burger yeah. off topic. Oh my god, oh. delicious! Best national dish, I would say. Sounds like toilet, time. bro. I'm sorry, you about to run. Like it's, gonna run oh. it's gonna run through you like. Oh, <laughs> uh, nah, you good? Best uh, drinks, Jamaica. Uh, so I would say a little bit of a tie overall, um, because we have two categories where we're not going to agree on. Everyone's going to probably. Well, Francis said Jamaica. I'm obviously going to say Jamaica. What do you guys vote for best overall food? Um, Americans. I, yeah, I said. Yeah, I'm saying. I'm saying Black American food, man. All right, so that I'm saying African. Jamaica won then because, because... we got two categories. Now you might be putting spices in their food. Boom! Now you might be putting enough spices in it. Yeah, I just gotta say, like, I was. I'm late to the Jamaican food, but when I had it for the first time, I fell in love with Jamaican food. So, I mean, I love my Nigerian food equally, but it's like. You I've made. I've, I have. I have cooked more Jamaican food more recently than I have Nigerian food. It be your own cousin. It be your you own both, cousin. <laughs> it be your own cousin. Yo, I'm Thank just keeping you. it real, bro. I'm sorry. All right, I would go tell your Same mom you said that too. Hey, yeah. your mom is literally like the best cook in the I just had, Nigerian I just, community. That's why just, he's too spoiled. That's why. He's as, too spoiled. Well, I just had her he's rice. Bro. I, I can't long. go a week without my mom's rice or even her cooking. He's been too spoiled. To it's all on. good. Maybe I'll get another category. Let's talk about tourism now. All right. Mm. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> do we even need to do this category. I know, right? Man. Come on, just get this. This, this, this is not fair. This one's not fair. Biased, we gotta yeah. rub it in a little bit. You know what it's I mean? It's not fair. It's not fair. So this most category. hospitable. Stop you saying Bolton over there. <laughs> <laughs> most hospitable to tourists. Let's go. Hands down. Jamaica. I've heard some horror stories in Jamaica now. You know what I mean? Like I've heard some people say, "Oh, they keep begging. Oh, they're so it's aggressive." True. But you know what? The country is beautiful. Land, sea, air. Like there's nothing you can't do. Surrounded in by Jamaica. water. <laughs> Surrounded by water. Beautiful people. Lovely people. I mean, there may be some couple bad experiences sprinkled here and there, but for the most part, I bet your ass you're gonna come back. You know what yeah. I mean? So hands down, Jamaica, we got a bunch of resorts, happiest people in the world. You know what I mean? Dre even sent that link, 13th country with the most happiest people. 
I mean, Nigeria was Nigeria. We talk about but the the category is most hospitable to tourists, though. Correct. So we can't include beaches and none of that. We talking about the culture of people respecting tourists, right? Mm-hmm. Is, yeah. Is, yeah. is hospitable. So I, yo, I, I'm gonna say, man. I, I I think I think when we find out somebody's from another country, I think we embrace them with open arms. We say, "Welcome to America." Yeah. She's taking her the best. Man, the free. You got to ask where you from. What? Where are you from? What? Talking about? Are you talking about African booty scratchers? Exactly. Hold on. No, they were drowning. They were drowning. Time out. Time out. We said to tourists. We didn't say. We said to tourists. Oh, okay. I, I, man, I know what y'all do. Well, y'all just change. Y'all just change your rules. A, oh. Whenever. How do you change the rules? Yeah. Uh, wait, man. hold up. Wait, time out. Did you f- read it before we started? No. Yeah. <laughs> the point is, <laughs> did you read the tutorial? Did you read the tutorial? It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't even matter if you're a tourist or if you live here. What about how you know if I'm a tourist or not? What about I just like do it? I'm an exchange student. It seems like you have a personal problem. Just take no, I'm just telling, I'm just, no, I'm just telling you. America, I'm America, where's that, right? If, listen, Chunky. All you have let me finish. Chunky, everybody wants to come here, right? I know, right? Everybody wants everybody. to come here. It's so terrible. Right? Everybody, 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 everybody wants to come here, right? Everyone, everyone wants to stay. work. Everybody wants to stay. Nobody wants to stay. If you want to go ski, you can go ski. If you want to go to the beach, you can go to the beach. Well, let me just say, so go to Nigeria. You can do that too. Whatever you want. It's a to Nigeria. In around December, around the holiday times, is always most lit. Everybody, a lot of people go there um, around the holiday times because the turn up is crazy. Cardi B was over there, mm-hmm. you know, posting on social media, going ham. And then okay. also we have like Abuja, which is AKA the city of gold because there's gold everywhere and it's super lit. It's like a Dubai in Nigeria. All right. So, yeah, we may not accept everybody, but if you if you live in that life, you got that luxury life, you want to have a good time, you know, you go to Abuja, you go turn no, up. We talk about they, they how nice they are to tourists. We're yeah, not talking about yeah. like a, how cool we talking about how nice they are to tourists. So it if, depends I, if on I show up, if I show up yeah. anywhere in Nigeria, I'm good. You be it like depends on what kind of tourist you are. <laughs> oh, oh, as a king, bro. Like you no. broke or rich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so but isn't so, that everywhere? But that's not everywhere though. If you don't got money, if you got money, you there's should, places you can stay uh, in the U.S. if you broke and still have a good time, and you're still welcome. Yo, yo, we'll talk uh, that sound like an L. Yeah, we'll uh, talk like an L. You could take your tax refund to Jamaica and have a damn good time. <laughs> yeah, 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 we'll talk. I, was, uh, I Listen, mean, I was just you can keep your tax refund in the U.S. and still have a good time. Yo, yo, I was, Again, I was just, um, I was just talking. Wherever to this. you want to go, you can go. Go ahead, yeah. friend. I ain't listening. Thank I'm you. listening. To this but wait, yo, wait, I'm people... just. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, <laughs> go ahead friend. <laughs> I ain't listening to this. Man. You got more cash. Yo, I on. was, I was gonna I know, say, right? I was just talking to this, uh, to this guy in Puerto Rico, and he legit told me I don't like Jamaican people. I was like, why? And he says because they, like you said, they always kind of like begging, like always trying to get something out of you. And all of this stuff. And my wife and I love Jamaica. We got engaged in Jamaica. So like mm-hmm. so Jamaica owes a, a special place for for us, obviously. So so yeah, that is you are you hit it right in the head about the perception of Jamaicans. Cause when I went, we did went, there was I we did experience a lot of like, you know, begging for money, which you know, which I understand, you know. I mean, we have that in Nigeria too. And to be fair, normally whenever you go somewhere that's tourist heavy, there's always people like when I went to Mexico, it was the same thing, right? Exactly. It's kind of like one love. I feel like like we need I feel like we needed like one person who's not in any of these because I feel like all (laughs) these answers were just gonna be fighting for our side. I I keep it real though. No, I mean, but Francis went over the side of Jamaicans when you talked about Jamaican food. So I didn't know, but then it wouldn't even work because if we had like, you know. Billy over here trying to vote. We'd be like, Billy, Why you better you stop it. You don't know nothing about <laughs> Africa. So like, <laughs> we'll fi- we'll figure it out. But I, I feel I feel I don't know. Man. Maybe I, I, I feel like I got one hand behind my back with this tourism category, man. It's well, not- I guess it goes back to the comments. Let the comment people let us know. Exactly. Let the, the yeah. social media decide. Question but let's of the get- week. Yeah, who's the best vacation spot? But all right, let's get into the other categories and we'll whittle down who really has the best spot for tourism. Best amenities and activities. Um, I would say for Jamaica, like I said, no matter what your price point is, more likely you could find something to do in Jamaica. You have the best beaches, resorts, activities away from the resorts you can also get into, some of the best nightlife, clubs, activities, things like that. You could go to Blue Mountain. You can go to the Bob Marley Museum. 
you can go jet skiing, like there's ATV, there's nothing you can't, you can go to a marijuana farm and do the tour, like, come on, there's nothing you can't do, get some fresh coconut from the tree with the coconut water and the jelly, like, come on, bro. <laughs> Hands down, like Jamaica, sunny all year round, only gets hotter, let's go. Come I did on. mention City of Gold, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm just I mean, kidding. Kidding. Like, <laughs> like, oh, I can't. <laughs> I mean, that's great. But once again, what I fall back on, you can do anything you want to in America. If you want to go down south, you want to experience beaches, you want to experience clean, like nice water. You got Miami, right? If you want to go skiing, you can head up north. If you want to go out west and just hang out and just chill, surf, you can go out to Cali. Um, you can you want to expensive. gamble and shoot guns, Vegas, Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. If you want to live the big city life, <laughs> go to go to Broadway shows when that opens back up. New York, you go to Chicago, get yourself a nice deep dish pizza. It's like whatever you want to do is in America, in whatever price point too. That's not really, not you whatever. Cannot, you cannot stretch a stimmy in America. You cannot <laughs> stretch that stimmy. You can stretch a stimmy in America. No, you, no, you can't. Can. Yo, no, that flight can. to LA is it? That's it. That's what it's done. <laughs> not even. You can rent a car and drive. You can rent a car and drive. Spirit Airlines, not to knock Spirit. Uh, no, yeah. um, I'll pass. Uh, there, there, you can take a train. Are, you can take a train uh, across the country. Can, I'll pass oh, that too. You can take you a train. You're not about to go it? across the country Yo. in a stimmy check. And nah, you, you can. can. This. You've no. seen it. Homie wow. ran out from the restaurant in Miami because he couldn't pay the bill and everybody was twerking in the street, bro. That's because he didn't. Yo, that was only in America. Only in America. Great vacation. He's living a dream. Just say what? Just say it. Oh man! I will give you that. I know because America is. I mean, we are. We do identify America as the cultural, you know, melting pot that it is. Mm -hmm. And because there's so many different cultures here, and that's the only thing. Like you, I feel like Black America can't take credit. You can't take credit for, you know, Chinatown. Like I got nothing to do with that. It's in America, right? We didn't. Wait, wait, wait. We didn't mention Chinatown. No, but no, but I'm saying is like you said. No, uh, hold up. I'm saying as in the America, you can't take credit for everything that's here. Because you're we're, mentioning stuff that you know we're like American. You do, where yeah, you we're, eat. yeah, we're representing we're America. America. Oh my god, representing America. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's right, him. Right, he's wait, 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 let's wait, let, 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 yeah, let, let, trying, let they're trying to silence him. I, <laughs> I rest my case. Wait, Glenn, wait, Glenn, Glenn yeah. is the one who created this, right? Aren't we representing America? I mean, it has to be wholeheartedly American. Can't just be, oh, it's in America. Like, for instance, y'all can't claim tacos. You know what I mean? Yeah, we didn't do that. Who's claiming tacos? Yeah, I can't exactly. claim pizza or anything like that. Or, yeah, you claim it. Oh, oh, wait, no. We have this pizza that's Black American? That's American. Yes, it's American. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Oh, it's not. That's not. They were not Italian. Yeah. Italians do not call what we do to pizza. Uh, they okay. don't call that pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay, in America. Pizza. Yeah, but. I'm about to say something crazy. But in, in, say but, it. But in America, <laughs> but in America, the version of the, like, the versions that we usually make is usually not as good as the traditional version. Facts. Let's be real. Yeah. Nothing against 100%. America. 100%. Because, like, for instance, you go to Chinese food stores and you see the Chinese people not eating the food okay. that they make it for us. But <laughs> you're trying to plead a case how much better we are than any other country right now when it comes down to vacation spots. So uh, you're, you're trying to you're trying to pick apart like oh you can't claim this you can't claim that and you can't claim that so you're <laughs> acknowledging if we look at the whole of America we got your ass beat yo yo well, chunky, all, all, all I gotta say is if you ask if you ask Americans <laughs> do they want to go to like Florida or whatever or any uh, any state in the in the U S or go to Jamaica. I feel like over... they go to Jamaica. Yo, they don't pick Jamaica. Time out. Time out. <laughs> they uh, go Francis, to Jamaica. Wait, Francis, where are the last two places you went to? Florida and Puerto Rico, right? Damn. Yeah. Damn. Got him. Yeah, but yeah, but you know why I didn't go to Jamaica? Jamaica was actually where oh, we're I done. Was going. We're done. We're but done. Because of COVID. <laughs> Thanks, Trey. Did you That's have a good point. time in both of those places? He, he promote. Yo, I, I, I have a good time everywhere I go. Did you see his gram? Uh, no, he, he had a great time. <laughs> but he but he chose but he chose to bag his one and true love for the rest of his life in exactly. Jamaica. Jamaica. Right. Okay, that's cool. Maybe yeah. get one made love. in Jamaica. And People also in the U.S. One hot. Oh, no, yeah, no babies US. get made here. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll fair. get. Personally, I'll get. I'll get Jamaica that one. But you guys. Yo, can't we we take the tour. That was. Yeah, so I'll give it to Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. Nigeria is too. Dude, Nigeria's too far. To we be can't honest. even finish. Too we can't even finish the tourism <laughs> category. <laughs> We're already hating. Yeah. Yeah. Are we going next? Yeah, we're going next. Because when people travel to America, all they're going to is New York. Even when we went to Japan, everybody asked, are you guys from New York? 
<laughs> I mean, it's but, like, like, but that's ignorance, right? Because there's New York, there's Chicago, there's Miami, LA, there's Dallas. I know nah, a lot of exactly. people. Come but then that also can be said that there's ignorance to Nigeria too, because Nigeria is a huge turnout spot. I, 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 uh, yeah. I don't disagree. But Joe Ash has voted for Jamaica. Next, so you turned over in your own country. I don't Yo, know. Yo, I'm, I'm just keeping it real, like Bolton, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> Next, Next. Like, what are you saying? Right, right, right. right. The truth is, that most yeah. people don't try yeah. to Nigeria for for tourism. I mean, to, uh, to vacation man. because they don't know. We don't have exactly, like exactly. So I got to keep it one. So we have to do a podcast in Nigeria. Is what you're telling me? Yeah, you, you know what? That would be fine. That'd be all right. Well, next we have another category. We have another category. Was it Lego? Right. Yeah, in Lagos, Victor Allen and yeah. in Lagos, so yeah, it's real dope. Music and dance is next. All right. Oh, <laughs> go. Who has the best beats overall? Best beats. Afrobeat, Nigerians, man. Afrobeats, yeah. Everybody's trying to assimilate what we're doing right now. No. Beyonce. No. Yep. Beyonce can't. She can't stop being African. <laughs> 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 she got African in every song. So it's. So can take it. Learn how to take an L. <laughs> I know. We well, always gotta say something, man. Yeah, she didn't bring herself. Her, her ancestors didn't bring themselves over here. <laughs> no, but she's but, all right. But every song that she makes, they bring themselves over she's here. bringing Africans into every song that she's making. Afrobeats is definitely. I'm not gonna lie. There was a point where it was definitely reggae and dance hall that was like on the mainstream, but now it's Afrobeats. Everywhere. I think everything has its turn. Yes, so. It's definitely Afrobeat. Well, we can. Right, we're talking about it right now. We're yeah, talking about in the right moment. Now. I'm saying uh, in the moment. That's cool. It's Afrobeat. That's cool. America, I, what I, do you I have? I wholeheartedly disagree. Of course you would. I want to say Drake. But keep huh? on. I said, do not say Drake. But no. When, like, do I look like a Drake listener to you? He's Canadian. Well, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> He's from Canada. All right, you disagree. Well, but anyway, what's yeah, the counter? Okay. I'm listening. All right, go America. What's your what's your counter? What do you mean best beats? I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, we got some of the best producers who have ever graced, uh, you know, Timberland, the the world, you know. And I think really Timberland, all all all, and is all, he not, is all, he not all, all, all roads always end up back in America, right? You know, exactly. you haven't made it until your song is on the radio in America, in America, or you haven't made it until you've worked with Timberland, or you've worked with Pharrell, or you've mm-hmm. worked with all these people, with so, Kanye. Mm-hmm. Kanye, uh, you know, so I feel like mm-hmm. all roads always end up leading back to us one way or another. So, so. what was that you just said? Uh, take the and, L. And the, I don't know. There's, there's, I don't know if you mm-hmm. ever heard of this genre called hip hop, but I, I don't know. Yo, I think it's, Ross. I think it's in other oh. parts of the world. But yeah. I think it's in right. yo, yo. Know. Name, name some of your favorite rappers. <laughs> name some of your favorite rappers. Oh, I only have to name one. Jay Z. That's it. Bam. Jay Z. Kendrick Lock Lamar. Uh, Biggie. Tupac. Biggie. Tupac. Tupac. Oh, yeah, I know Biggie's from Jamaica, though, right? <laughs> he is. He is from Jamaican. Uh, well, he's Jamaican descent. Let's go. He is. Wait, was he, he is. born in Jamaica? And he's from Trelawney. Let's wait, wait. Go. Was he born in Jamaica? Wait, he's Jamaican. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Time out, time out. Oh, oh. Was he born in Jamaica? Because I'm willing that. to bet he was not. I'm willing to bet he was Jamaican born in Brooklyn, descent. New York. I think mm. he spent. I think he spent a lot of time in Jamaica when he his may mom, have spent. His mom, no, 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 no. Him back. Listen y'all to saw, the question. The story. Listen to the question he asked. Right? No, I don't. Not know. where he spent the most time. Where was he born? Chunky. I swear to God. <laughs> Black it's American big old hand. Look. Born <laughs> May stop. 21st, 1972, Brooklyn, New York. Get back in your motherfucking box. He's American. Okay. Yo, but he's still, yeah. it's like, it's like, man, he's still, he's still Jamaican, though. You can't like. You know he's Jamaican, Jamaican. Though, right? <laughs> uh, a lot of people will debate, you know. You, wherever you born. The, the origins of, um, you your know, father. of hip hop and everything like that. And Only when it works say, to your advantage. It came oh, from now you, here's my own quote against me. I'm just saying, <laughs> a lot of people believe that hip hop originated in Jamaica. That's all I'm gonna what? Say. Who the? But that's not even the category. Said that. It's about it's about Bronx. who said that. It's about Bronx. the best beats right now. Do you do you do you realize like that's about our best rappers? Hold up, hold up. Well, I'm, you're saying hip hop originated in Jamaica. Yes. When what is it? Um, Chucky, why are you talking about rap when you know you only listen to K-pop? First of all, that's like my top ten. So it's <laughs> second will be Taylor Swift. So shut your mouth. All right. Yo, you guys got to see how he's acting with his finger right now. He's, he's really all right. All right. So all right, best beats. I would say when it comes down to beats, it's we, it's, we assimilate everything, right? Like we go yeah. with what's popular. Mm-hmm. And definitely dance hall had its time in the 90s. Like everybody mm-hmm. swimming was Jamaican. And I feel like right now, Afro beat is in that same position where, mm-hmm. where dance hall was back in the 90s. Please Afro don't do that again. <laughs> And I, I have to say, I love dance hall music. I love reggae, all that. But right now, Afrobeats is 
It's where it is. Right I mean, and you gotta be honest. Yeah, right now, that. it's where it's, it is. It's it's hot right now, but what what's still we, going we, on? We 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 talking right now. So thank you, thank you. Uh, but what did Dre say? All roads lead back to where? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. To Rome? I don't to know. Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> to Nigeria. To Nigeria. To Africa. <laughs> to Africa. And all roads do lead back Africa. to Africa. That's the truth. Motherland. Oh. Oh. Uh, Remember so that argument go. goes both ways. Exactly. Next so, one. so it's Apple Beats. I, I would say Afrobeat on my end. I love dance hall, but even in Jamaica, they're listening to Afrobeat. So it's so so that, best beats right now is is the category, not I, not of all time. Nah, because that's not possible. You can't say <laughs> all time. I don't think that's possible because every just like you said, every sound had its era. So yeah, so Afrobeat well, is it. There was a point where it was like so. you know all about jazz and everything like that. So there's other categories. Yeah, there's other there's other that's subcategories. That's, 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 in that's this, fair so. enough. I uh. I rock with uh, damn, I can't remember his name now. Burner Boy. Burner Boy, yeah, Burner Boy. So yeah, fine, Chris, fine. You Chris, guys got Chris it. You got, you got the Grammy. Yeah, the yeah, Grammy yeah, and everything yeah, too. They, you got uh, it. Right. I'll defer to that one. Thank, thank you, Dre. Appreciate thank you, Dre. Thank you for being. I mean, we, we got we got to give Nigeria something. I don't, I don't, we, I, we got to give him something. First of all, you didn't give it. First of all, you didn't give it to us. Chucky, we got to give him something, man. You didn't give it to us. They can't. They can't have zero across the board. Yeah, we got more. We got more than zero. You don't give us our roses, okay? I don't you have know to if you do. You have I don't know if you do. I know. Yeah, they they might, do. You, there's a lot. There's like a couple more categories. Like we're probably gonna cut it down to two more, but there's just still some they can dominate. So all right, let's rock. Um, let's hear. Best dance dancers, best dancers and dancers. That is easy. So currently, or like of all time, like currently. What you, I mean, the best. I don't even That's know if you best. mean like I, I don't even know if there's a the running a qualifier game? on that. You don't have to. No, Africans. What? Africans are oh, what we we stay coming up with different you oh, know black people don't body movements <laughs> nobody says black people see see you always making an absolute and nobody say black people don't dance you absolutely have y'all moves I didn't say but black people don't dance just chunky be quiet <laughs> nobody yeah, says in you, the corner bro yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> nobody says that you can that you guys don't dance but the movements and everything that we do when it comes to like choreography like they're cop like other countries are copying African movements and they're trying to incorporate them into their, you know, choreography for these dance. Again, I reference Beyonce, you know, the diva of all divas. Like she, everything is African inspired in all of her movements and choreography right now. So it got to be African, African. There's and a it's reason for that. And our music, you know, and I and I should also mention our music is is made for dancing. There's no, I, I definitely remember growing up. You know, in the city or New York and Newark, and it'll be a lot of like dope rap songs. It's all about bopping your head, and it's really about listening to the music and stuff like that. But it's not about getting up and actually dancing. Our music, it does not. Our music is not. Our music is not necessarily. It's something you could dance with by yourself. Oh man, you, know, you don't I'm necessarily ready. I'm ready to be to, grinding I'm up on a chick or something. Uh, so okay, hard. so I have a question for you, for okay, Americans. I'm at every uh anytime you have a special occasion, right? A wedding oh, or whatever. <laughs> are, are there a certain are there a certain series of songs that are guaranteed to happen no matter what? There's a little dance called the electric side. I don't know if you heard of that. But I don't know if you ever heard of Cupid Shuffle. I, I don't know. There's just there's just all these things that come up. We put names on songs, we we brand them, we brand dances, we brand uh I'm just saying, we you cannot go to, uh, you just can't go to any function where you're not hearing one of those songs. Yeah, but am I right I mean, or am I wrong? No, I hear you. I'm at your, wed at really your no. wedding, at your wedding, did you play any one of those songs? Absolutely not. So well, anyway, <laughs> none of those songs. I'm, I'm about to drop some knowledge on y'all on this though. I'm okay. About to Usain Bolt at the same oh, God. time. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> because, oh, man, I know where he's going. I know where he's because going. Because <laughs> electric slide that actually originated from Jamaica. Oh, so, <laughs> you know, so funny. I was actually gonna. Woo! My Let's go, Marcy Griffiths. Let's I will, go. I will humbly it, it take may, that it L may have, and it take may have, <laughs> Wait, wait. It may have originated. Oh, but who who do people associate that to? What culture oh, do they wow. associate that to? Oh, That's now just, they, they just because the just original. because the initial That's just because the original just because the original song started one place and then someone remixed it. But if if you're asking people on the street who that associates to, yo, Dre, I you didn't guarantee give, you didn't, the majority of people are going to say African Americans. You that. didn't you didn't give us more. For that, you didn't give us Malta for that. You, you, you're well, Malta you is way different. Malta, no, Malta. but it's, it's, oh, the, same, it's the same Malta argument. You can't, you can't, in, in the Caribbean, it's the same argument. Malta bro. is literally made in oh, the Caribbean by a company whose name is Goya. 
My, my, <laughs> yeah, my oh, point God. is, yeah, but who, other who, types who of Malta. Who I can't mess with Who do people associate with? Francis, why are you getting so upset? <laughs> Sorry. Know. Just no, I'm, in no, but no. I'm just saying. I just think. You, I just think. Uh, you, you was doing. You was doing the uh, the nay nay. Like, there's all these songs I could just. All these long but, uh, chicken noodle songs. Of, okay. Of, of all right, but I then my here's where my I can question. associate a name to a dance specifically from a jerk. American, but okay, but then here's my jerk. question. Then right, <laughs> have you have you ever experienced as a young African American, you know, going to a little party, music, rap music playing? Dudes just standing on the wall, just listening to the music while the girls over there dancing. Has that? Has that? Have you ever experienced back that? Back that ass up. Yeah, I'm just saying. You've never, heard that, you've never, you've never been to a party with back that ass up. Have come on. No, I'm, I'm asking. But then there's. But we, they're not head bopping. Head bopping. Hold up. Stops. Chuck, you calm down. Damn. You grab a wall. <laughs> you get it. Ever heard the song too oh, close? My question. You ever okay. heard the song too close by next? Oh, you know what that whole song is about? Stay. Okay, but, but I, I'm seeing this point. Do you know but what yeah, but my point is about. All right, let's see if I get his point. Let's see if I get his point. Oh my gosh, I got that. Oh, you. Oh, I got Oh, I see the black's point, though. Black All right, so my question is. Part of dancing culture. Oh, that, and that's what they, the question. The, the Y'all question hold a wall. Y'all hold wall. My, the question yeah. is about dance. The com- topic is about dance. And y'all, and there's a lot of y'all music. Oh my gosh, I can be. Let the man talk. Oh my God. Every time I name something, <laughs> you discredit it. I, no, I I'm named not, a I'm bunch not. of things. No, and I said I agree that there are songs that you do associate with dance, but you're talking about specific songs. Not the entire catalog of music that you guys have is associated with dance. And in Nigerian community, there's no song where it's not associated with dance, whether it be religious songs, whether it be even emotional song, everything, everything is about movement, 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 movement. Every time I've ever been to a club, I've been dancing. I, I don't but know. But that's like, you. You are, you are. Okay. And yeah, people I know. I don't facts. know. I, no. People, people, All right. So like, nah, now y'all being unreal. Listen, so listen, you tell me there's I'm, no, hey, you've listen, never I'm been to a party this. where you see a bunch of dudes just standing on the wall. The most fun I will say I'll have is when dude. I went to a party with D Black and they started running around in a circle. And I thought that was just fun and amazing. <laughs> they switched the other direction. Uh, that was that was that was a carnival because that wasn't that was an African though. That was a, a Western Jamaican party. Joint. Yeah, oh. and oh, like well. carnival. Well, the point and, gets, and that's taken away from you and goes to Glenn. No, but that's fine. Uh, and that, but that's that's the African in me. I acknowledge where we win and where we don't. So <laughs> closing I, statements. Oh, good. My bad. <laughs> I didn't even get the Jamaica's part yet. I right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I mean. Come on, Pasa Pasa, the Bogle, the Butterfly. Like, y'all pretty much jacked Americans in particular, kind of jacked a lot of our dances and turned it into your own thing. Is the Butterfly like the Tootsie Run? Aren't they, aren't they known yeah, for jacking stuff? Yeah, uh, it is. So, that's a right there. Everybody has seen or know, knows the Bogle dance. You know what I mean? You know, Ting a Ling a Ling came out, Shaba, all <laughs> that. We had our era, like, until this day, you know, we still got dances coming out the pipeline. So it's just like, I would say that Africa particularly is really the mother of dance. You know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. be real, we all stem from there. So a lot of the dances we took from them, made our own versions of it, came up with our own music. So do we all win? I was set to say probably the Nigerians get this one because they they created it. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm I'm saying. uh, that's my only argument because I feel like, you know, not every song, and again, it is not necessarily the value of the song, but not every song that Black American associated with is, is, is made for dance. There's songs that, you know, Drake made a lot of songs like me mugging, and on the weekend, like usual. Like, you, ain't, you ain't trying you're moving, to. If you're moving, yeah. there's other right? songs that. Okay. That but, dance. All right, just it's, because it's you like know. Uh, my cousin's trying to say tone. every song that Nigerians make is, is made for more dance. More it's a different song. type yeah. of thing like, for, for certain songs, okay? But there's the other head. genres. Head bop is not a dance. There's man. other genres of Never music. Never heard that song. I didn't bop. Like I don't know how to dance. It's a deep. Oh my god! Uh, like, how many of those artists are actually American? But okay, wait, 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 wait. So let's let's hit you with this. Like throwback '70s black music, right? People were always dancing. Earth okay, but you're, but you're targeting an era. Fire. But you're targeting an era. I don't have to do that for Nigerian listen, music. Listen, I can just I'm, you could pick any song in Nigerian catalog. Here's the thing. You, ever we, what we you pointed lit. out was hip hop, right? That's all you were pointing out. And I said that when it comes down to black music, to me personally, and I, I, I know Dre would agree with this, every song has a dance associated to it. Like whether it's a head bob, whether it's a shoulder move, you, you're doing some type of move. Every song. 
Not every song. Not every song. Why you not? Now you can't. A lot of the big. A lot of the big songs. Yeah, you can't. A lot of the big songs do, man. Listen, a lot of the big songs. If if your ass don't dance to it, that's you. You talk, but here I'm saying, if there, but here's the thing, if there, okay, he lost me. Here's how you. Here's how. what? This is how. This is how you make the argument. If there is even one song you can think of in the Nigerian, in the I mean, sorry, Black American community that you do not necessarily need to dance to. You've already lost the argument. So, so there's not one Nigerian <laughs> song that there's no dancing involved with. No, there's never been a song. Nope. Uh, nope. We dance to everything. <laughs> we no. <laughs> so you guys have no love songs. No songs where someone's just yeah. Like, but even love dance songs are dance songs. You still okay. dance to it. We, we slow right, and ride, bro. All right, all right. Another category. <laughs> Beat this one up. All right, cool. Best overall artists slash icons, like people that were legendary. Pretty much their, their music will never die, right? So mm-hmm. I would say Jamaica side, we have uh, Marley, Bunny Whaler, which was also the original original of the Electric Boogie before Marcia Griffiths did it and it became a mainstream US success. So fact check. Um, like, come on, Bob Marley, let's, let's go. Who isn't inspired by Bob Marley? Who's not listening to him today? And it's honestly music that anyone can listen to. You know what I mean? Children, grownups, if you want to learn something about the world, he spoke to all issues. Hands down, he's one of the greatest icons ever in music. It has to be Bob. It has to be Jamaica on that one. Yeah, I don't think I'll, I can give it to you on that. I mean, our our equivalent to that is Fela Kuti. Oh, yes. Um, Fela, yep. But the thing is that not every, but again, we, we, I guess the only way you can really label that person, you know, on that level is, you know, worldwide recognition. And Fela Kuti doesn't have that worldwide recognition, you know. So, so Nigerians will probably beat you right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, and that's the thing. But his music is, has been his music is super powerful, and then obviously what he's done, you know, for the African community as well, you know. But you know, unfortunately, yeah, I, I got to give it to Bob because it, I mean, even people that didn't listen to like that don't even know Bob Marley like that can still like yeah, I know like they're aware of Bob Marley, you know. So. Mm-hmm. Politically and music wise, exactly. Americans. Yo, I just gotta say like. I know I love Jamaicans, I love Nigerian, but Americans got this. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, Michael Jackson, uh, Quincy Aww. Jones, Stevie Wonder, Luther Vandross, uh, Whitney yeah. Houston, Actually, no, uh, no, that's Beyonce, a really Jay Z. Uh, we got no I, chance, I can, bro. They got I too many lists. Yeah, yeah. We got Michael. Michael, Michael, even Michael alone. Even Michael Jackson alone. Got no yeah, chance on this one, man. Yeah, Drew, I think you. Met, yeah, I forgot. Michael alone. <laughs> Michael, Michael Jackson alone wins that. Or Prince. Who, Michael, wait, Prince. wait, wait! All of Michael Jackson's music had dancing elements to it. I don't know Ooh, if you knew that. Yeah, yeah. But not, oh, not not because, because, all music. Just because he danced, just because he danced, because he danced in all of his songs, doesn't mean that all had dancing elements. All of his music was dance music. Okay, that's one yeah. person. Right. <laughs> Yo, I feel like you missed the point. Let that one go. Dre, like, Dre wants I'm that saying. one. He wants that point back. I'm like, I don't want the point back. I'm just, even I'm just saying we have a, we have such a wide range of music to just yeah. like discount it that there's no we, dancing at all. No, I, we didn't. We didn't say that. We didn't say that. We didn't say that. We said every time you go to a party, there's no one dancing. That's what you said. No, I said there's there's a round. I edit this podcast. I, I, know you that I will send you that audio. Send it. All right. I will yeah, send you that audio. Send it to send them. Send them. Dre, Dre, Dre. All they were saying is not 100% of your songs incorporate dancing. Where Nigerian songs is 100%, bro. That's it. It could be 95% American. I'm not arguing. It's still 5%. Yeah, it's still 5% that doesn't. Just I'm, take I'm, it. Just I'm take only going hell, what I heard. And he said... You go to no, parties and there's no dancing. No, well, that's it. Yeah, for some, some, some of them, some, some party don't. I think Chucky has something to say. I have nothing to say, but I disagree with Dre. D Black in your box. Francis get in your box. <laughs> we won this. That's it. Just take. You don't got nothing. Yo, to I, say, I supported you. you, you just, yo, we literally just supported, but we literally just we both supported you. Yeah, because. Let's be real. Listen, Beyonce, both said Michael Jackson. Listen, like, listen. Let's talk about icons, <laughs> icons in the industry, like people that are just unforgettable. Like their music will be timeless. I think Beyonce has all love, but I think her music has like a timestamp on it, where it's just like you know what? Mm, I so? heard it all. Nah, I would say so. somebody like Aretha Franklin. I, but I think I think she's starting to move into the realm of Aretha Franklin as we start going into time. Oh. Like she she's the new era for like for us in essence, right? So I think her music will be timeless because she will join that generation of like, this is like our music. So as we're raising our children, it's just like, oh, I'm listening to Beyonce. As we were growing up, we were listening to Aretha Franklin. 
So mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying. That music becomes timeless. I mean, when they like go a woman up, empowerment, like that's gonna be a, that's gonna like, be interesting. Wait and see, though. Yeah, yeah, I think she. I think I she's think solidified so. from you like a women so? empowerment. No, I like, don't think so. No. I mean, we'll cool. see, I think it's gonna be interesting. Wait and see because because when you say timeless, like even kids that don't know Michael Jack that didn't listen to Michael Jackson know who Michael Jackson is. Right. And to say that Beyonce is gonna be on that same level, it just it just doesn't. Uh. Yo, bro, I, I was in I was in Nigeria listening to Michael, and I love this dude. And I, I just, like, I just don't know. Just like, I don't know because yeah, Michael Jackson, like Bob Marley, those people, like those are people that like. But to me, everyone knows Aretha them. Franklin's music is timeless to me. Like I can always listen to that and just yeah, zone out and just relax, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm just saying, in essence, that it may not be right now. We're going to get older. We're going to be in our 60s or 70s, and like kids are going to be like, "Oh man, listen to that Beyonce record," and it's just like an, an oldie. Right, it's an oldie but goodie. So, it's gonna be interesting yeah. to see if she reaches that level, but I don't I think, think I don't will. know. It just feels re- it just feels crazy to okay. see everybody else on that level of Michael Jackson. So. so best overall right now, just judging on the responses, we'll go to America solely because they have a lot more icons. Which I'll give it to you guys. You mm-hmm. have the Michael Jackson, the Quincy Jones, Aretha Franklin. You guys have a lot, a lot of icons, and I think that's partly because you guys have an industry that's just well developed for music. And um, probably the biggest industry out of all of these nations, I think, overall, as far as sales and outreach. Yeah, there is a well invested interest in music in America. So, yeah, I mean, that's why it's really not a fair comparison. Because I mean, I do put an asterisk uh, on this because we do we did all kind of grow, you know, in America. Because in America. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can just imagine, imagine the Jamaican community and the Nigerian community just like, you know, what, what are y'all I talking know. about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like, yo. All right, let's get into another one. Sports. And then after that, we'll go into the ratchetness, and that'll conclude the episode. Okay. Sports. Uh, y'all gonna beat me on this because I don't really know much. But best <laughs> ball players overall, best basketball players. And this could be players in America if you Victor know their Oladipo. Origins. Oh, let me stop. <laughs> Victor. Exactly. <laughs> We got Giannis, bro. We got Giannis, but he doesn't claim us, though. Is Matumbo uh, Nigerian? No, Matumbo's not Nigerian. No, he's not. <laughs> I think he's Kenyan. I thought he was he's, Kenyan. Uh, he's from Congolese. He? Oh, he's from Congolese? Okay, thank Congolese. you. Uh, yeah. We have Victor Oladipo, you know. He, he won African Player of the Year, like, multiple years in a row. Who's He's very good. He just got recently traded to um, he, Miami. the Heat. Yeah, he went yeah. to the Heat. You know, but, you know, but we obviously have, you know, by 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 bloodline, we have Giannis Antetokounmpo, who you know won MVP. You know, so he's you know two he's times. very dominant, two time MVP, times. dominant. But he don't, but he claims yeah. Greece because he was born in Greece, so he claims yeah. Greece. Uh, but he, he he gives us support. He he, he claims the Nigerian side of him too. Though. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like ultimately, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I think I, I mean, even though Jamaican argument, you still have Usain Bolt, right? But there's We're also talking about ball basketball. players, ball players. Oh, just ball specifically players. basketball. Yeah, just players. ball players. Yeah. Ball players. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, this, I mean, this, we we this, beat, don't beat Jamaican. All right, don't make me drop yeah. it twice. <laughs> yo, yeah, we beat we beat Jamaican on this, but we have no chance against Americans because I mean, there's 19 active Nigerian players right now in the NBA. So, but. Um, yeah, we say ball players in the Hall of Fame. Soccer too? Do we count soccer? Is soccer? No, just no, we we got that too. We got that covered. Don't worry. Be patient. Be patient. I so mean, we, yeah. do we got to say Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant? Yo, no, no. I think yeah, we all got right right down. I think we all got down. Kobe Bryant's from France, isn't he? He's not even American. No. Oh, he, what are you doing with this? He was born. No, he he grew up in Italy. <laughs> he grew up in uh, Italy. He speaks Italian, but he he was born here. He lived in Italy because his father played professionally in Italy. He speaks Italy, but he's born here. So he's American. We count where people are born, not where any other metric where they're born. Okay, so you can. Yeah, <laughs> actually, I don't know. That's a normal. <laughs> all, all, all I know. Say... <laughs> all I know is Patrick no. Ewing. All I know, remember I know. Glenn. Major me. <laughs> Glenn doesn't know anything about basketball. He's, he has said, stated this like multiple times. So I'm not holding you against that. I but did Fran, my research. <laughs> Kobe is Italian. I mean, he grew up in, in Italy, so. Like, I, I think about the greatest in the sport, they're all American for the most part. Um, so, yeah, that's obviously one you guys would just get because, yeah, culturally, you guys grow up on basketball. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, we don't it's a little different. Yeah. We'll be talking about best soccer players, though. <laughs> Tim Howard. Tim Howard. 
best soccer player. <laughs> Tim Howard, really? <laughs> yeah, if you talk about soccer, that's a or football, that's a different conversation. Excellent, excellent yeah. goalie who made it to the Premier League, man. Put some respect on Tim Howard's name, man. Yeah, but let's, let's get into it. Anyway, I'm not gonna do that. Who has the best Alabama. national team? Like, let's take it from a national level, even. Who has the best national team? Excluding women's. Excluding women. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. No. best men's national. I don't think you want to no. do that. I don't think no, you want to do that. We, no, we, we don't want to do that. We're inclusive yeah. in this podcast. The reason, no, but the reason, we women. Are, okay, we cannot I, include women. The That's only reason up, why, okay, he got, right. he got amped so he can win. The only <laughs> reason, yes, exactly. The got only reason why I exclude women because the U.S. women yeah, was, are very dominant. I'm, I'm about to check they you are. right here. Very yeah, dominant in like almost every sport. They're extremely yep. dominant. They need to be respected. They, they need, need to be, be respected. paid just as much as the men. Let's exactly. go. We count on soccer. Exactly. 100%. I, I mean, that's why, I'm, and that's why I just give it. That's why before we even go any further, I'm just give it to them. U.S. women, they are extremely <laughs> dominant in many sports. It's between either U.S. women or, or women of Spain. Like, they're extremely dominant in, like, all those sports. Uh, but on the men's side, um, yeah, the U.S. men don't really be holding it like that. <laughs> okay. Y'all do not hold a candle to... Outside of outside of of course basketball, but when it comes to I other mean, sports, one, female women basketball league. So I mean, yeah, I already spoke to the women's side, and I gave them all of their you know all their appropriate um, accolades and clout. Okay, so calm down, Chunky. When it comes to the men's side, I just feel like the men's side on the U.S. don't hold up. You know, Nigerian. Well, Nigerian soccer team like the Super Eagles. I mean, we're good, but the problem is that we always end up like losing like our best players to other countries. So that's so we got a problem there. We can't we can't seem to retain Nigerians to play for Nigeria. <laughs> so yeah, I don't I don't know. Just, just, I just going off of just like actual qualifiers into like you know the World Cup and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Nigeria has always been in the World Cup. Yeah. Um, Jamaica has not always been in the world. <laughs> so I think like some of our best years were like in the nineties. We had the reggae boys and everything. Yeah, reggae and, boys, yeah. Uh I mean we have great players and some of them comprise or members of like Jamaica's I mean sorry, America's national team even, um, where they could just claim people. Mm-hmm. But other than that, we have a litany of soccer players, but our sport without a doubt is track and field. And mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. the next one. But I think we could all say for the most part. Nigeria takes the national team, at least for the men's side. Yeah, because I feel like, I mean, we're just talking about overall placements and everything like that. We always get a lot further than everybody else. Uh, out, of, out of the groups we're talking about, out of the Americans and out of Jamaicans, you know, yeah. like Americans we consistently qualify, we consistently compete. So. Tend to choke. At I mean, we are we are lukewarm at best, so that says a lot. I mean, but yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, we're talking about three countries that, that have never won it, so. Lukewarm yeah. at best. Oh, wait, Jamaica didn't win the World Cup? I think like uh, I want to say who did. I want to say this. I know so Nigeria's was... never won it. That's all. I, I, I clearly say that one. No, I then we win and win. It was like two thousand. No, like ninety six or ninety. Because Nigeria I remember, I, yeah, World when we when we all the Olympics actually. No, not the World Cup. I, I don't think they when we had up. when we had uh, Okocha and Kanu on the team. Then we beat beat like Spain. I think. I don't remember what year that was because I remember watching it back in Nigeria. It was such a, a big, we came back, I think it was 4 3 or something like that. Nah, our sole appearance was, oh, sorry not to cut you, but in 1998, it was our sole appearance. We see. finished third and failed to advance. Yeah, so in Nigeria, just like our World Cup youth team. They won it multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> they, won it, yeah. they won it five times. But yeah, that's dope though. I mean, what about what about the Olympics? Talking about youth. What about the Olympics? I'm I mean, just... but let's say in the category, what do we got next? Next, track and field. Ooh, that's... even on the thing. Oh, uh, that's I, not... I just added it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't... like what? Where is it? Oh wow. Michael Johnson. Uh, yo, you you guys got this. You saying both. That's... Yeah, that's that's. I, I, say, I mean, that, I feel like the highest I can drop for at least a, <laughs> a few Americans out is Michael Jones. <laughs> Yo, have you have you seen those that video that's been circulating recently with like the 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 man uh, relays when they just like went in? I don't I don't remember what year that was. I mean, Jamaicans are just fast, man. Yo, oh, Shelly Ann Frazier, Usain Bolt, Veronica yeah. Campbell, yeah. Johan Blake, yeah. bro. 
So, yeah, yeah. so you, you yeah. felt so you needed to add one in order for you to like establish like yes. one category. That Dominance. You know. <laughs> yeah. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't think about this before we started this <laughs> this episode. So he just put it in here. Just he, he was like, man, I'm he also, added, we need he also added soccer players in there too. That wasn't on the list. I thought it was soccer players. Nah, soccer was on there. I, I think it was like I'm oh, looking at the list man. now, and it's just like I'm, nah, I'm moderator. Man. I got this. I got this. Hold the point. Let's wrap this one up. We don't have to go into each sport, but best overall athlete, like most known for other athleticism. I think this the black category, black men. Period. Regardless of where you're from, for the most part, have known to be athletic. I know. I was about to say African, all black minority yeah. groups um, have. We all that. Who <laughs> takes? The notch, like who is the the pinnacle of athleticism? Like that's hard. Man, that's hard know. because it really comes down to what sport you value the most. Mm. Mm, I mean, so. I, here's the well, thing: soccer is everyone respects soccer. Everyone respects soccer. I mean, the U.S. is just trying to get caught up. They're a little behind, bro. so that's the well, only reason okay. why that air really, 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 really asterisk on this one. The only reason why I give it to Nigeria is because soccer is more of a global sport than other sports yeah i would just but i'll give it to if the you don't think basketball if you is? take yeah i would just say, say if you take if you take your all. best if you take your best nigerian soccer player i don't think they're more athletic or talented than our best than michael jordan yeah oh yeah i, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I feel sport, like if you take bro. the yeah. best of your because i thought he said best Athletes, athlete. oh, best, best athlete, athlete. The, best athlete. Yeah. Yeah, so oh, best to me, athlete. if you okay. take the All best, right. yeah. yeah, to me, if you take well, the what do Americans have? You guys have Bo Jackson, right? Where he pretty much played every sport. Yeah, we have Bo Jackson. Yeah, I mean, I think mm-hmm. I think that America will have a renaissance in soccer when it becomes like a it, it's just not a sport that's right now it's a very privileged sport. It's a very expensive sport to play. It's not mm-hmm. like a mm-hmm. but I think that if the right people get involved, I'd, I'd like to think that we'd be able to. Yeah, all the African damage. kids. And I know that there are some, <laughs> there are some American, there are some American uh, kids who are coming up and making it to the Premier League, which I know is like, depending on who you ask, is some ways like the equivalent of the NBA. And, and but so I, I, there are American people who are making it to the Premier League, which from what I understand is like one of the best leagues there is yeah yellin um, and something like that yeah, yeah. yellin um the dude on uh chelsea uh pulisic yeah he's he's so, now pulisic is nasty yeah so there are yeah. there are some right um who are making it but it's just not it's just not embedded in our culture um i hope there i hope hope soccer does Dre, i'm giving i'm giving some i love on this one so yeah. okay. individual yeah. athlete yeah i gotta give it to america too because yeah. we don't have any sports where we glory where we like basketball is just a sport where one person can really stand out and, really and also we dominate different. on like a like a global level so whenever there is olympics like no one's beating us in basketball like it's yeah that's just true. not that's true exactly. that's a good yeah. point touche hats off well when it comes <laughs> to like soccer and wrestling and there's a little bit of a uh, push wrestling. and pull there Yes, okay. yeah. Wrestling? We talking about wrestling? <laughs> <laughs> wow, are we, are we sport shaming now? <laughs> well, if if you're including wrestling, wrestling. I'm not getting any all that, I think I think we should include MMA with wrestling. You know, MMA yo, boxing. Yo. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, MMA. I think uh, the Africans are kind of leading yeah, that right there's now. There's an so. African uprising. Before it was the Brazilians, but now the Africans are really stepping it up in MMA. We know how to yeah. scrap. Yep. Still John, John, we can't, we can't, we can't from still nothing. John Bones, though. Let's yeah. put some respect on, on John Bones' name. I mean, still there's nothing. Very, John uh, Bones can't say I'm Hall of Famers, man. You got Rampage Jackson. You got Rashad Evans. Like, you got some some black dudes that can throw. As of right now, like you said, like, everyone has their time. And it seems like, you know, with John Bones and um, uh, who's the dude that just won? I don't want to mess up his, his name. Is it Francis? No, 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 Nagano. There it is. Yeah, Nagano. Yeah, Francis Oof. Nagano. Oof. That boy can swing. Don't want to catch any heat from that man. Nah. <laughs> nope. uh, so you know we couldn't talk about cultures without delving in a little bit of the ratchetness. So, so wrap this episode up. <laughs> you already know I gotta bring it out. <laughs> Which nation has the best scammers? Let's go. Really? Oh, oh man, we know who the winner is. There. Oh, wow. We know who the winner is. There. Wow. I'm a Yahoo really boys. Know. Yahoo we boys, go I am offended. Shout out to my Yahoo boys. You feel me? Uh, I'm not I gonna can, lie. 
I cannot I gotta, believe this question right now. Yeah, go ahead. This, I'm offended. Yo, I'm I offended. Gotta, hold on, hold on. I've been scammed. You well, say ratchet, okay, we can have a conversation. But you yeah, said scammers scam, specifically. Yeah, this is bro, the ratchet, come on, category. Man. Every culture has, Chunky, every country we got has one. a little bit of ratchet. Do it. <laughs> Chunky, we got one. Do it. <laughs> Yo, I got a, a priority sent letter, a scam letter from some... I, usually they come out of Georgia. I gotta say though, I, they usually all the scams in America come out of Georgia or Florida, you know, or it could be a Nigerian playing acting like they're from Georgia or Florida. I don't know, but <laughs> I got a letter, wow. and it was a well detailed letter. It told me here's a here's a check for like twenty five hundred dollars. Well, you it was like a Mission Impossible letter. It was like <laughs> if you accept the contents of this letter, you must accept this mission. I was like, what is this? So I was just like. <laughs> What kind of scam is this? It was a $2,500 check. They wanted me to cast this check and then make a gift card to several different stores and just kind of like pro appropriate a certain amount for each store and then spend, my mission was to spend as much money as possible in all of these stores. So I was like, wait, what kind of scam is this? Like full mission impossible dream. Like, hell no, I'm not going to cast this check or deposit it. Next thing you know, I'm getting hit with like $5,000 coming out of my account. Like, are you ridiculous? Yo, but, question. How did you yeah. know? Did you? Are you saying he's Nigerian? The guy that's trying to scam you was Nigerian? Well, I'm saying? thinking. My guess is it's an American scam because it was like a little sloppy. It was a little lazy. It was like they printed wow. out some stuff. It was like ten inch font. It was just like ridiculous. Could barely read it. I'm like, nah, I'm a Nigerian. I definitely like, don't. I definitely don't appreciate <laughs> you associating Nigerian names with that statement. Then, so <laughs> the, the, the there was no tech, reference to a print. Yeah, don't, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, no don't, don't. Undo oh, that statement, please. Come on, man. Redact come that. On, redact man. redact that statement. Redact I have that the letter statement. right here. What we talking about? Oh, wow, statement. he got the proof. <laughs> and the check right here. Y'all see it? That, that's official. Oh, wow. Yeah, they went through great lengths. It was like 2500 wow. and change. That's and crazy. Mission, I got to spend my money at CVS, and this is my detailed letter. I'm like, what is this? Oh, wow. Yeah. They really went for that. Nah, see, yeah. we would have just been, if it was Nigerian, it would have been just an email. It wouldn't have been all that. <laughs> yeah, a check. Yeah, that's, that look official. I'm thinking this came from Georgia. I think this came from uh, your part, Z Black. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's not me scamming. <laughs> <laughs> but I would say Jamaicans, though, we have that scam. Um, I'm not going to say we, we don't want to claim it, but the ones that yeah. come out of Jamaica is like the publishing clearinghouse, like, oh, you won X amount of money but you have to send us X amount of money in order to claim this. And it was like a big thing in Jamaica where scammers were just going rampant, calling people from the US and all over the world, usually targeting older people and getting them to wire the money and all that other stuff. But I don't know, man, we, it's this one category of people that's- And then you know, Nigerians, I mean, they don't really do it anymore. Like the I'm a fan 419 boys. <laughs> <laughs> but because everybody's everybody's kind of caught on to the whole you know african prince email so they don't really i don't know i haven't heard of it recently so i mean there's probably some new intricate scams that they're doing but i don't know there was Yo, a, there, there really was talk? one that i there was one that i remember not too long ago because he had a he had a very crazy name his name was hush puppy if you oh yeah, up, yeah that guy yeah, was pretty wild I mean, yeah, he, he was getting <laughs> off some crazy scams. Uh, I think he got like arrested in Dubai or something crazy. Yep, Damn. I remember that. I remember saying that. Yeah, I remember saying that. No, but like, but yeah, there's, there's, not, there's, there's, I was gonna say, there's a, there's a lot of America scamming too going on. I know that um, uh, I've been randomly seeing like Instagram accounts, like where people are promoting like scams where this guy's like, oh, you do, if you give me $500 and he's on camera filming himself, like going to ATMs and getting out money. So mm -hmm. I know that it's happening. I don't know what Instagram has recently allowed uh, happening, but I see a lot more people promoting um, nefarious activities on Instagram. But across yeah. the people's yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah Craigslist. <laughs> Craigslist is the is known for their, for their scamming. I've, I've been a victim of it. I bought a ticket on Craigslist. The mm -hmm. guy, literally, I spoke to the guy and he legit cut his number off. And I couldn't like get <laughs> older from anymore. After, after, after I paid him, yeah, we were trying to go to a ticket. And one of my buddies also was, we bought a ticket, of, I think it was Drake, and Drake ended up canceling the concert and we couldn't get our money back from the guy. So I've been victim to Craigslist scam twice. Those are Americans, bro. Time? Well, the first one I did, but I got my money back. The second time my buddy was, he was in charge of that. and. 
I don't remember ever getting my money back from that one, but <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah, but I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like you can't, Nigerians are busy getting this paper and degrees. That's what we do. We get degrees. Yeah, we accumulate. As, accumulate <laughs> degrees. We accumulate Not education. Master, <laughs> education, accumulation. Masters and uh, our doctorates and all that stuff. That, you know, we, we're not, we're not all for that anymore. So, so put some respect on that name. Okay. Thank you. Damn. For being great scammers. <laughs> uh, no, well, I've had the most scam attempts in America from Americans. I think are Americans, um, but most successful at it overall. Not just the most intense, but who has probably most amount. Oh, I don't even money. know what the success rate would be, but I feel like because, <laughs> but like, like I said, those old like African prince emails, they would always be like targeting like older, you know like older individuals, you know, like, oh, I'm an African prince. We're trying to like, you know, support our tribe and we need a little bit of money and then we'll, we'll send you back like bars of gold. And like, like, come on, who's falling for that? But people do fall for that, you know? And it's, so I don't know the success rate, but I feel like, again, the constituents that they target, um, Nigerians would probably have like a little bit more success <laughs> there. <laughs> This is terrible. This is absolutely <laughs> terrible. Concept. We'll skip that one. <laughs> we went we'll let, through it. <laughs> we'll let the public decide. Yeah. So who, who would you guys? Wait, say what's the name of that girl? That's like there's like some lady who calls and says like she's trying to help with your student loans or whatever. Oh, oh god, yeah, they, you get a lot of those student loan ones now. Yeah, and that's American. So I mean, no, Have it's you about this? your your extended warranty in your car. That's another one. Oh, oh yo, I hate that. That's American. Oh, <laughs> or. God. You know, Jimmy has a 12 inch penis. Do you want one too? Take what? this. <laughs> I've been, yo, I don't get it. Oh, it's Lossie's fault. Yo, I swear to God. See? Yo, I've that gotten, how did we mine. end up here? I, I got in the scam. No, there's a legit scam going around. I was like, Jimmy's cock just grew harder. <laughs> so I was just a like, phone call. I don't, I don't care. A phone about, call. No, but, they're targeting, but they're targeting you, though. They're not targeting like, nobody. I don't else. care about Jimmy's cock. <laughs> 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 Why are they always targeting you so much? Oh, I, I don't know. Oh, we were doing God. so well. That rubber. So they just well. know they got that rubber waistband. <laughs> He's a coxman. Yo, yo, Dre, Dre, you need to cut, you need to cut after that off. <laughs> The whole leave all thing. that in, bro. The whole <laughs> leave thing. all that in. Yo, and, and, and Glenn is trying to come at me with the blue. No, I'm just, I'm just telling that's, you. That's all up in your round, bro. I'm, I'm just telling y'all what it is. Y'all never got yeah, the cock course. scam? Y'all haven't gotten no, the harder no. cock scam? Never. Never. Oh, oh, never. Never. Well, never. I no. need to change my searches. I need to clean my cookies or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely <laughs> why. <laughs> the incognito what are you, mode. What are you putting your phone number <laughs> out there like that? <laughs> oh, my God. Incognito mode is your friend, sir. <laughs> all right, let's, let's, next one before we wrap it up. Best curses. Who overall will curse you out the best? Ooh. I'm. A, I don't have to give this to Jamaicans. Yeah, I feel like Jamaicans probably got well, it. because well, well, Nigerians. Well, well, Nigerians, well, we curse you out with blessings. <laughs> so we like, <laughs> like lineage curses. Like we live. Like I mean, yeah, actually that's true though. Nah, because we we don't not we actually might take that because I just realized that because when we curse at you, we curse out your entire lineage. We curse out your family line. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We got the resident cursor here, Mr. Chunky, bro. I know, right? <laughs> I, the curses That's is so just nice. straightforward. <laughs> so there's, there's nothing <laughs> different about it. <laughs> it's like, you. That's it. <laughs> it's move forward. Oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah, your father's father is the one. Don't talk to me. <laughs> you are a good hoda. Your daddy is a human da. <laughs> <laughs> Africans don't curse like that, so stop. Uh, <laughs> remember, Chucky has that Nigerian friend. Don't. No, yeah, that. of course. Man. Listen, my one Nigerian <laughs> friend. He has okay. a past. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. Jamaicans will call you a bumba ras clot, bumba blood, blood clot, pussy wall. Pussy clot, like it's kind of like bumble pussy clot, like it's kind of like <laughs> just like mixing it up. <laughs> <laughs> then you got conjunctions, and then you know, it's, but it's usually the same stuff. So I, I would say my 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 vote it would be for Americans. I mean, you want to get called a <laughs> motherfucker? There's nothing better than that. Perfect, delicious. I think that's just, I was just straightforward. I would say I'll just give it to Jamaicans. It's this shit that y'all come up with. It's just like, man, I don't even know if I'm cursed out or being blessed. Like, I'm just utterly confused. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good point. I think, yeah, I think I might have to give it to Black Americans. I mean, like, again, Africans, we don't really curse at people like that. But when we do, we literally, we really just talk down to you and your lineage and your whole family line, you know? But it's never. 
person. It's never children, like so it's never like words that you feel like you gotta bleep out. <laughs> Uh, well, we definitely uh, gotta bleep some of this out. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I think well, I did that, well. I did well. Dre, 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 you got your work cut out for you, bro. <laughs> exactly. Well, I think we on, should start a counter. Oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> we will. But on that note, counting. on that note, we'll conclude the episode. Really, no clear determination on the winner or the loser, but we know if you want to travel, eat some good food, Jamaica has it. But tell us your thoughts. Hit us up on JJC Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter if you love this conversation. We'd like to hear more of it. Feel free to send us a message or comment on that. would be awesome. Also, if you're a Black business owner, feel free to hit us at jjcpod at gmail.com with your business. If you'd like to be featured on the show. Stay tuned for the outro for more details on how to contact us. And until then, stay blessed. Peace. Peace. Thanks for stopping by. And that concludes today's episode, but that doesn't mean the conversation has to end. As a matter of fact, check us out on Instagram or Twitter at JJC Podcast for our post discussion question. If you're a black business owner and like to be featured on the show, shoot us an email at jjcpod at gmail.com. Additional details in the description field below. As always, likes, comments, and shares are humbly appreciated. Subscribe to be notified when our next episode releases. But until then, stay blessed. Peace.